Hey everybody, Mike Verta. So Musical Sampling sent me their new sample library. It's called Adventure Strings. Um, they'd done Adventure Brass before, which I loved. It immediately became like one of my primary brass libraries. And so this is Adventure Strings, it's the next one. Now, if you don't know the concept, what they do is they gear the libraries toward people who like to perform their parts versus program them. I mean, you, you can program them. But for players, what they've done is they try to make one patch essentially called their adventure patch, which on the fly can sense your performance style and choose an articulation that fits. So for example, you know, here I've called up a, an adventure strings, the violin, um, and if I play short, it's short, but if I play long, I can go back and forth. I can sustain and use the mod wheel for a little bath stuff. So it's, it's insanely playable. It, that's such a time saver and so much easier. It's faster than key switches and way, I mean, it's a night and day from like, you know, some libraries you have to have one track for each articulation, sustains and staccatos. So just from a speed and playability standpoint, that ability just to, and also I'm using the mod wheel for overall volume. I mean, that's just, that's just insanely great. So I love the library already, just from its playability standpoint. Um, but the thing about the adventure series is they're not general purpose libraries. Um, they're for adventure stuff, loud and fast and heroic. Um, you know, if you try to use them in other contexts, sometimes you can push on, like for example, if I hold a chord and I, and you can really, you can really hear that strong vibrato. Well, that vibrato's there even if I go, way down. But, you know, it's, it's pretty strong. Like I said, it's got some room, but that's not a quiet chord. That's not a that's not that's not delicate bowing. So so you know you will often find a, search, a circumstance in which these libraries and they're niche libraries. They and and for adventure stuff they're they're great. Um, I sat down yesterday and did a demo. And you know, a lot of guys do demos. The point is to make the library sound good. That's the opposite. I want to break the library. I want to find out where they fail, what they can't do. So I always write stuff and just see how the library can handle it. And pretty sure, uh, you know, like you'd expect, the, we'll listen to it here in a second, but the, um, you know, the stuff that's adventure-like and the library's designed to do, it did great. And the stuff it was not designed to do is, is painful. But it's good reference to have, so you can listen to it and go, okay, well, I won't use it for this and, and not. But let's just listen. It's only a couple of minutes. Um, and uh, then we'll talk about the library a little bit uh, after. But, uh, but I already dig, I dig this library. It's great. Um, I really like their approach. Let's just, uh, let's just listen to this real quick.
So, you know, I think that I think that it says it all. The that short, bouncy, energetic stuff, all that that stuff I was doing with the, you know, whatever it was. Gr great. Like it's just it's what it's designed for and for then you can hear all kinds of other arpeggiated ideas. And some of those ones where I was doing denser chords, you know, and and grew, it just it just wasn't meant for that. But it did pretty well though. I think no matter what, you might have noticed there are you know there are other individual articulations. You can choose a sustain patch or a marcato patch and a pizzicato patch. And and if you were watching there, I think a couple of times I used those. Um, but by and large, like I said, the meat and potatoes of the library is this super playable adventure patch. And, uh, and you know, like I said, I, uh, I, I highly recommend the library, it, not if you don't have a general strings library. Look, you need a general strings library that's got a fuller set of articulations and, and, uh, and you know, dynamic layer switching. There's, I use tons of them depending on the job. Um, but but for this specific you know niche, they've really figured out how to hit uh, a playable, fast, inspiring, you know, uh, popular usage uh, product. And so uh, so that's two for two with musical sampling, as far as I'm concerned. They have other products I haven't tried. They have a trailer strings which I haven't tried, but people like. And then there's this other one, soaring strings, which I'm going to try. But just from a uh, playing and input and speed and and fun standpoint love adventure strings as much as uh, as uh, as adventure brass so hopefully that was a little bit helpful to you um, uh, if you uh, get a second oh, by the way go check out on my website at mikeverita.com I've got a whole master class series for it's called the Hollywood composers master class series on composing and arranging and performing and and gosh theory all kinds of stuff um, and uh, they're really popular people really dig them out so Check those out and uh, and go buy uh, go buy Adventure Strings, man. You know, it's uh, support these guys. A good developer, good product, and uh, we need more of that. All right, thanks.